Oi. Hey guys, welcome back to the JTO channel. And this is your match review of Crystal Palace 1, Chelsea 4, and oh my god. Yeah? First things first. If you haven't already, please like, comment, subscribe. Turn on those post notifications. Yeah? You understand? Now, let's get straight into this, right? First thing I want to say. Absolute attacking masterclass from the team today. Oh my god. 4-1. You know, there was a game pending where... We had to score more than two goals, man. Yesterday, I predicted a 2-0 win because we wouldn't take our chances. Now, to be fair today, we still didn't take our chances. But the difference is, we still battered them. We still absolutely battered them. Now, let me take you guys through the lineup that um, Thomas Tuchel brought for his team. Obviously, Mendy in goal. Rudiger Zuma was in the team for today. Aspilicueta, Rich James, Kovacic, Jorginho, Ben Chilwell. A uh, front three of... Mason Mount, Pulisic and Kai Havertz. Now, I said in my preview yesterday, I said start Tammy Abram. But I said, don't be surprised if Tammy Abram's not in and Kai Havertz is in instead. Because he might get another chance. And I said Pulisic will start and Mason Mount. I got that correct. Um, the wing-backs I got correct. I thought Kante would start, but he didn't, obviously. Which is fine, which is fine. He got he got run out, to be fair to him. And obviously, Christensen, um, before the game, it was reported that he has a hamstring, a hamstring injury. So Zuma came in today and he was solid today. So, look, that was the best football I've seen under Thomas Tuchel in those first 10 minutes. Honestly, the football we played was unbelievable. Did you not see that first goal by Kai Havertz? Oh my God. We had a chance with, I think Pulisic had a chance. We saw a fluffed his shot and then literally straight after, Callum gives the ball to Kai. Kai, couple step overs, cuts in, shoots, bottom corner, mate. Cleaned up, yeah? Second goal, the link-up play from the left-hand side. Chuo gives it to Havertz. Havertz puts the ball in. Pulisic hoofs it in the roof of the net, fam. Literally blasts it. Top bins, bro. That was some of the best football I've seen under Thomas Tuchel in such a lot. Literally since he's come in, bro. I am so gassed. Literally. And then you take... And then can I just say something? Mason Mount, his um, balls into the box, whether it was from a free kick or from a corner, were brilliant. It was what, what, what the way I was seeing him whipping it in, whipping them in. I thought somebody has to get ahead on this and score at some point. And luckily enough, Mason Mount, perfect ball in from a free kick. Zuma, 3 0. And then obviously, we should have scored more in that half. You know, in general, we should have scored more. And then obviously, Crystal Palace get the goal. Um, unlucky from. You know what? It's a poor goal to concede. No clean sheet, to be fair. Ben Chilwell, it was a bit poor from him to let his man sort of get in front of him um, and win that header before him. So, a bit disappointed there. No clean sheet, but it doesn't matter because we got the fourth goal anyway. Reese James down the right-hand side, pulls the ball in. Deflection, six there, tapping, and it's 4-1. Now, like I said, right, you see uh, Havertz and Pulisic. It's in the title. Kai Havertz and Christian Pulisic, masterclass. Those two today, especially Christian Pulisic, made a statement, absolute statement. Kai, because he wasn't great against Sevilla, and then today, oh my God, one of the balls, can I just say something, right? One of the balls, Jorginho on cover, right? By the way, those two are brilliant today. The passing was a lot better than it was against, um, against Porto. Jorginho put the ball over the top. Did you see Kai have his first touch? Man, literally, he like... The first touch was weird, like it was it was like a class touch. He like he he kicked the ball up and he lobbed it over the defender. So he lobbed the ball over the defender and then he had the shot. It was a bit of a weak shot, but yeah, and can I just say the only negative other than the goal was we should have probably scored more, even though we battered them. Kai Havertz should have got a hat trick today. So yeah, um he still played well today. And Pulisic, Pulisic, that's my winger, you know. That is my winger. That's my winger. That's what I'm talking about. He showed Timo Werner today how you link up play. He showed Timo Werner today how you dribble a football. He showed Timo Werner how you pass a football. Yeah? He showed him all these things. And he showed him how to score a goal. Hmm? It's clear to see. And I'm not trying to be mean on Timo Werner. But for me, the way we played, the fluidity of the team was absolutely class. Anyone, the front three could go anywhere they wanted to. You know what I mean? It was, and I'm just saying, without Timo Werner in the team, look. He didn't deserve to be in the team today. He wasn't put in. 
Thomas Tuchel said it's because, you know, they were about to overuse him. Fair enough, you have. But it was a class, it was a class performance today. Big credit to Kurt Zuma. Um, I was kind of scared when he came in uh, for Christensen, who suffered a hamstring injury. But to be fair to him, he scored a brilliant goal today. I can't lie. Um, good header. You already know, Kurt Zuma this season has more Premier League goals than Anthony Martial. You don't know. You understand? So, Kurt Zuma today, i got to give him his flowers. Rudiger, the tank. Aspilicueta, captain's performance. And I've got to talk about the midfield today. Now, obviously, they suffered quite a bit of criticism against Porto today. I don't want any criticism on those two. Now, the first half was a lot better than the second half. Don't get it twisted. Because in the second half, we gave the ball a lot more. Um, maybe a bit of complacency was in there. But we still kept it comfortable. Uh, the way we played out from the back as well was absolutely brilliant. But let me touch on these two. The passing was eloquent today. Kovacic, the amount of time he was finding Callum hudson Odoi down that right-hand side. You had Jorginho doing it everywhere to Callum, to Kai, to, to Pulisic, to, to, to Ben Chilwell. Like, it was absolutely brilliant from those two today. The, the, the connection, the, 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 the partnership these two have, the relationship they have is... I love it. Literally, these two, like... People may say what they want about them, and I've said what I've wanted, and I've talked about this and that, but at the end of the day, I don't mind these guys staying, as long as we get a midfielder. But today, they were absolutely class, and I couldn't have given praise for them more. Callum hudson as you already know, gave that clear, clear attacking threat down the right-hand side. He's the one that provided the assist for Kai Havertz's goal. Um, you obviously had him, you know, good balls in the box, very good balls in the box. You know, the link-up play between him, Kai, and Mason was top class and yeah it just felt like the relationship throughout the whole team today was was brilliant from you know the relationship between um Pulisic and Ben Chilwell to then uh the front three themselves the fluidity the defense was in good communication throughout the whole game Mendy except for the goal man was sat back chilling like this just watching the game chillaxing you understand yeah we needed a game like this guys we genuinely needed a game like this, you know, one where we were free-flowing, attacking, fluid football. And that is what we got today. Credit, massive credit to Thomas Tuchel um, and massive credit to Politic as well for managing to, you know, play the whole 90 minutes. Um, like I said, between him and Timo Werner, he starts against um, Porto in the Champions League. I don't care what anybody tells me, bro. I actually do not care. Like, he made a statement tonight. It could be Timo, but oh, well, 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 whoever it is. Hey, it is what it is. I'm so happy, guys. I hope you're watching this and you're happy too with the performance because that is clearly the best performance under Thomas Tuchel. And, yeah, the substitutions as well came at the right time. You obviously saw that Kante came on. Obviously, he needs the rhythm. Um, how many did he have? He had, like, what, 25, 30 minutes of football. So, that was good for him. Uh, who else came on? Rhys James came on, obviously, to keep the defence solidified, make sure we, you know, do our thing and not... Be stupid at the back. And obviously, Hakim Ziyech came on and... You know what? For 10 minutes, Hakim Ziyech was decent. Hakim Ziyech was decent. He had he should have had an assist for Kai Havertz. Who, like I said, he should have had a hat-trick. There was... I'll give you the hat... The, he should have scored four goals, actually. So, obviously, he scored one. The one he should have scored was when he flicked it over the defender. And it was a weak shot. And then, there was another one where... Um, we were playing literally out... We were literally playing off the park, like... Like, Crystal Palace had, had no idea. Christian Pulisic's on the ball. Kai Havertz is in acres of space. He feeds him through, you know. And Kai Havertz, again, it's a weak shot. He should have more power, a bit more height on it. So, you know. And then the fourth one should have been when Hakim Ziyech put him through as well. You know, so Kai Havertz, he could have had a hat-trick today. But it doesn't matter because he was absolutely brilliant today. You tell me, guys, who your man of the match is. Because I'm torn between Kai Havertz and Christian Pulisic. Because... Those two for me were the best players. The link up between those two and Mason Mount Plus was brilliant, guys. And Thomas Tuchel, oh, you can't question this guy. Like, it gets to a point now where I probably questioned him, what, like three times since he's been here? Bro, I questioned him Leeds. I questioned him um, in the last game against West Brom. And I may have questioned him in another game. I'm not quite sure which one, but... Yeah, man, like, Thomas Tuchel's doing his thing, man, you know, and top four, we're back in the top four, obviously, after Liverpool won their game earlier today. Bit lucky, I watched the game, they were a bit lucky to win that game, I can't lie. Although, they did get robbed of a goal, to be fair, but we had to make up for that goal difference, and that's the all-important thing. 
We lost 5-2 last week. We won 4-1 today. Three goal difference in both uh, games. So we made up for... Um, we made up for... You get me? The uh, horrendous uh, display that we had. And yeah, guys. I'm going to give you guys a play ratings video that will come out... Literally later today, like the second this video is uploaded, I'll be in the middle of making a play ratings video. So if you enjoy this one, please like, comment, subscribe, turn those post notifications. Follow my social media down below, Twitter and Instagram. Um, look out for my next one earlier in the day, um, later on, which is going to be the play ratings videos. And yeah, guys, I will see you guys in my next video. Peace.